Scala, I want to open this segment by talking loose forwards. When we last spoke on this show and we started trying to predict mm. which way selection was going to go, you were very complimentary, and rightly so, of what you'd seen from Jasper Visser so far. He's not in the 23. Uh, does the back row combination surprise you in any way? Um, no, it doesn't surprise me. I would still like to see Jasper Visser there, Nick, just for something different. You know, he's a great ball carrier. He's combative. He was, for me, the surprise element was how comfortable he looked in the backfield because we know our eight plays back or set phases, especially opposition half. Dwayne Vermeulen, mm. as you mentioned earlier, he's outstanding. I think you, I've seen him miss one in ten years of those. But, you know, the big omissions of is he Dwayne that's not there. And it's not only his playing ability. He's one of those players, when he gets selected, everyone around him sort of is at ease. You know, and that's just with experience. And he's a leader in his own right within that group. You know, they trust him. Um, you know, having Kwaka there, I think, is just a natural progression. For me, it's the option, a safe option, because he's been in the system for a long, long time, and we know what we get from Kwaka. You know, like work rate, mm. work rate, work rate. Probably not like the biggest impacts, but like work rate, and he's explosive, yeah. Yeah. and we know he's going to play for 80 minutes, which is probably why he's selected. If you think of CA, he didn't play you know, past 50 minutes in the World Cup final, he's just recovered from COVID. How long is the Springbok mm. captain going to go this weekend? You ask me, probably 50. So Kwaka is probably you're going to be your workhorse. He's going to grind away 80 minutes. You know, rack up the stats, and then obviously Peter Spieler, Pete Steff. You know, what a great player. Just Mr. Consistent for us, and he epitomizes our box pack at the moment through work rate and the way he plays. Then on the bench, we've done something interesting, having Reynard Elstad there. Um, you know. We don't really know how the game's going to go, but like both sides, you know, selections is pretty much like for like. We, a lot was being said about going 6-2 split. The British Irish Lions tried that and burnt their fingers in the SAA mm -hmm. game with Liam Williams going off early, and mm -hmm. then they were compromised for the rest of the game. So it's just too big a risk. Us would probably like to go that way, but through Archie mm -hmm. Snowman being injured, you can't, and a lot of players, as I mentioned, Sia, maybe Henry Pollard, not mm -hmm. quite being match fit. We do, haven't seen enough of them. The risk is just too big for if you lose a back early on. Um, but still a great, great Brock loose trio. Mm. Yeah. I, I think, too, that um, for Merlin, we lose uh, a little bit in the fetching f uh, department. And, and Kwaka's good at that. He's very he's quicker to the, to the, to the breakdown. Um, when you watch Dwayne, Dwayne's very clever to come in as the second player. He lets someone make the leg, leg tackle, and he's in over very quickly. But just because of his agility, uh, Kwaka is, is a sevens player. He's got really good in-contact skills and, and he's good over the ball. So we need someone to, to protect our, our ball and also contest their slow theirs down a little bit if we can. And he's going to be doing that for 80 minutes because Sia is a good counter racker, but he's not at heart, he's not a fetcher. And Peter Steff is not at heart a fetcher. Other guys will do it. One, you know, you'll get Dallander doing it occasionally. You'll get uh, even Faf, um, Pollard. In the situation, they'll do it. But... Kwaka's job is going to be that. And also, he's not, as, as Skala so rightly said, he hasn't got the physique to take on someone in a frontal fashion, but he's got quite good, he's very good Feet. step. Feet. And oh. so he's going to spin and step to try and make a little bit of progression. Yeah, yeah and you also forget, you know, you look at a guy like Mapimpi, you need a cover for him because mm -hmm. I think the last time he played was when he came back from Japan and yeah. played the, the Sharks game yeah, against good. the Lions, which, which seems like months ago. Yeah. So now... You know, you look at how the Springbok wings need to work. Yeah. That's why we haven't gone probably with a 6-2 yeah. split because you need someone else. But also don't underestimate Reynard Alstead's engine. You know, his yeah. ability to run. He's a bit angrier than the other loose forwards. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> he'll try to smash every yeah. rack and he'll be involved in a, in, yeah. a, in a couple of scuffles. But, you know, he can he can cover, probably he'll have to cover open side flank of Sia to go. But Kwaka becomes vital in terms of the ability to play that 80 minutes and be that fetcher the whole time. Also, you look at fetching. You know, it's everyone's mm. responsibility to, to be able to make that decision. Once someone's made a chop tackle, Luke Cowan Dickey uh, uh, had, was brilliant against the Storms in terms of being over the board because the chop tackles were good. So if your tackle technique is good, you tackle nice and low, you know, every player should have the skill to go over the ball and slow it down. Mm.